Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Cracko298 and today I'm going to show you how to modify textures inside of Minecraft 3DS. On GitHub, once you get to this website, you're going to want to do slash stbbrian, then mc3ds texture maker. First what you want to do, go down to the first release. See, this hasn't been updated for a while. So what we are going to do is go to releases, v2.0 beta 1, and download the latest release. I'm on Windows, so I will use the Windows edition, but if you're on Linux or Mac OS, you can use the Linux. I'm going to open up the file and extract. We'll place files if necessary. And here we go. Double click the file right here of called, I believe, yep, MC3DS Texture Maker and run anyway. You'll see you have a brand new um, window pop up. That's not what I'm looking for, however. I'm going to click save and it will save a atlas.3dst right to my folder right here. So this is the items and these are the blocks. What I want to do is go to Ohana 3DS. You can go to this link right here in the description or just search up Ohana 3DS Minecraft 3DS modding and download the latest release by just clicking the attachment file. So delete, I'm just gonna delete those two since I already have it installed. Once you get it extracted and installed, you want to go over to Tools, BCH Texture Replacer, File, Open. You want to go where you extract this, MC3DS Atlas. And you want to do the 513 kilobyte one for items and the other one for blocks. I'm going to export this now as my very cool file dot png go over to pixel art and we can modify textures now go back to where you save that file you're going to need to go over open image very cool file click ok and you will now be greeted with this we can modify any texture that we want now this includes potions, doors, items, etc, etc. So, let's go ahead and modify something that's of reasonable proportion that you will see moderately enough in the game. Uh, let's do the door. I like the door. It's a, it's a good door. It's the good door. Let's modify it. I'm going to come over here and just, you know, maybe make it all black. Now that it's all black, we can start adding our own textures. See right what I'm doing? You don't have to do it exactly like this. Do it however you want. And remember that these files are upside down. But that shouldn't be a problem for what I'm making because I am just making A weird looking door. Now that we know that the texture for the wooden door is complete, we're going to go over to file and then export slash download. Don't touch any of these and just click download PNG. You will get a file named pixel frame. Come back over to Ohana 3DS. You want to replace pixel frame.png. And then you want to click save. It'll save. Now we can open up the Minecraft 3DS texture editor. Exit out of it. Come back. Go back to our original right here. Reopen the application. Let's look for the oak door. We 
we can see that we have our texture fully imported to the 3DST. That's all I was using it for. Copy it. Control X and go back to the Atlas folder on the original ROM FS. You can do this by going new folder, then typing Atlas and pasting it in. We'll start up Minecraft 3DS now, restart it. And I'm going to unthrottle the speed. That way it loads faster. then I'm going to throttle it back. Back to 100%. And let's go ahead and play. Hit play. I'm going to do an existing world. Let's see if the texture gets replaced. All right, awesome. Let's go on over to our door, wherever that is. And look for it. Where is it? As you can see, it's right here. And you can see that we have our own door. Can't place it on there, I forgot. As you can see, it's not fully changed inside the game as of yet. However, we can change the blocks. Doing this, we can go back to the file and do the same exact thing, but with the, the other one. We can go over here and we will type or we'll go over to the blocks this time. We'll click or type in door. Give it a second. And it will look for door. As you can see, we have door upper, door lower, iron lower. It does the best to find out these textures but sometimes messes up. So let's go ahead and save. It'll save it to this. This bigger file is what we are looking for. Like normal, go open, come on over here to this folder or wherever you saved it, open it, click it, click export, downloads, and blocks and stuff. Now come back over to pixel art or pixel art. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's do new drawing, open image, blocks and stuff. We can see that we have a lot of things to modify. We don't have the search feature as we normally do um, with the texture maker itself. So let's get on to it. I see the bottom of the door right here. Let's try to find the other part. Somewhere around here probably, right? Do 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 do. We have the trap door. Command blocks. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. So I'll remember that. Let's go over here. Now what we need to do is I'm just going to modify it. I'm going to select two. And let's go ahead and start. Or you know what, four. Yep, that's another block. There we go. Gonna go back to my gray that I drew with the original one. Da 
then do that. Go back over here to the original. And let's do the same over here. You cannot expand the textures whatsoever or add HD visuals. No, whoops. <laughs> Accidentally made that all gray. No, go back. <laughs> we'll add this back again. Or no, sorry, it's two. Two pixels. There we go. There's here's another one. Now I'm just gonna go like that. Go over to File, Export, Download PNG. Come over here, File, or Replace. Do the one that you just saved. Then come over and click Save. It'll save it. Control C. Go back to your atlases. Paste it. And then finally, we'll reload the game after we save. So click Save and Quit. Configure. OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and restart. And we'll see if it works now. What we can do now is load up the save and see if it plays properly. It might not because the textures are relating to the original material. Well, and as you can see, there we go. There's our weird looking door that kind of works. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it. If you didn't, well then don't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye